Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we will create this game using AI. The ability of using AI to perform certain tasks has increased a lot over the last years. And with the increased usage of AI, these systems will improve even faster by using the input from users to train themselves. This is not a threat, we humans are still in charge and have an important role by directing the AI workhorse to perform tasks. Now let's create a game with help of today's AI tooling. First we need a game idea. Even with this AI can help us out. We will ask ChatGPT to think of an idea for a 3D game. It comes up with a detailed idea for a game. This idea is a bit complex so we ask it for a more simple idea. ChatGPT gives us a lot of details and even tells what makes the game interesting. Personally, I didn't like the exact ideas given, but I used it to inspire me to create a game concept and some ideas for level teams. We start by creating a project and adding the starter assets. We replace the robot from the starter assets by a character from Mixamo. This way we have some basic mechanics to start with. To generate graphics we are going to use a tool called Stable Diffusion. You can run it from the web or download it. You can enter a description of a picture you want to have. In my case I ask for a Tuscan scenery to use as a background. Once I find the proper image, I start editing it with paint.net. I make sure the top and bottom consist of one color. The scene with hills I stretch and create two images from. Those images I mirror horizontally to create a total of four images that seamlessly form a background. Together with the two solid color images, they can be used to create a cube map as a skybox. You may need to adjust the area of the hills to fit in the scene, like I do over here. The ground texture is also provided by Stable Diffusion. For the trees, I select some images with almost no stuff in the background. With Paint.net, I remove the background to create transparency. Then, I use the billboard shader I created in my shader tutorial to show them. Adding some lighting is a good idea to make the game more visually attractive. I think there is still improvement for tooling that can create 3D models out of text or 2D pictures. The best free tool I could find is Monster Mesh. If we take for example this image from a key from internet. We can edit it with a paint program so that it has a transparent background. Monster Mesh allows you to draw a line around it, but with transparency set you can use the same picture as a layer to create the perfect line for you. Then we can inflate the key and save it as a GLB file. That file can be converted to Unity's native FBX file. Once in Unity, you can drag the model into your scene, extract the material and edit it to make it look like metal for example. I followed this same method to create all the 3D objects in the game using only Stable Diffusion and Monster Mesh. Now we have the graphics in place, we need to create some scripts. We can use ChatDPT for this. Let's ask it to create code for throwing a ball. 
it comes up with a decent example ready to be used. Even if we ask it to first build up force and throwing the ball on releasing the button, it gives a good solution. We ask it how to detect if objects are hit. Also, we ask it to create a script for shaking an object. And if you want to play some sound effects, it tells you how to set it up and how to use a script to play it. We can obtain the code to display a timer on the screen. It can also help us to create explosive effects. Finally, it can show us the code. For the sound effects, we can use this free site, but it seems to be down at the moment. But there's another site that offers you three free sounds a day. You can type in phrases and it will then generate a sound for you. Sometimes you may need to edit the sound with the docity to cut out some parts or to amplify change the tempo, or add a fade out. If you want music for your game, with this site you can easily generate some music based on some choices. And this is the final result, the game I created with the help of AI. You can walk around and pick up balls. You can throw them at certain places to open gates. This has both a puzzle element and some action. You need to reach the castle before the timer runs out. You can choose either the left or the right side to the castle. So if you get stuck on one side, you can switch to the other route. You also need to use your balls wisely as you have a limited amount. You can download this game at itch.io if you like. Have fun and let me know if you've created something using AI. Take care.